Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go What's up, Jam Fam? <laughs> Hello, I'm Jam Fam Oh man, I'm so excited to make this video. I feel like I've been wanting to talk about this for a very, very, very long time. And it's it's just exciting. It's been a long time coming. And yeah, so. We've oh. been wanting to tell you guys for a while. Yes, kind of like the reason why we started the YouTube. I feel like yeah. I've said that a million times. But, but we also have to wait um, with our publicity team that said, you know, make sure that you do an exclusive with it so that you have control of what's being said. Um, but, so we did like an exclusive and you said your part, but um, Check It hasn't really said anything in full detail via YouTube, social, social media. media. And um, we kind of wanted to make it special for you guys, so. Officially announcing that I'm transgender. Woo! Uh, uh, I guess I didn't, this is the second time officially announcing it because technically we announced it already with the advocate. Yeah. Which is really cool. I don't know. The like, Aggregate is like a huge gay LGBT. magazine. Or not gay magazine. LGBTQ <laughs> LGBT plus magazine. Um, Follow them on Instagram. They're great. And they put up a really beautiful article about Jekka. Jekka wrote. I'm a male with transgender experience. And to me that makes more sense because I don't want to lead like my my gender with like trans. You know what I mean? That's just me personally. People can have their own opinion about it. But like. I like the idea of saying I'm a male first and then saying with. Like you would someone. never be like, hey, I'm Jekka, I'm trans. Right. <laughs> just like I would never be like, hey, what's up, mom? Hey, I was born female. <laughs> like that's just weird anyway. Or shoot, that might be the direction we're headed. <laughs> Who knows? But um, yeah, it's really freeing. I never thought that this day would come. <laughs> Me neither. Well, it's also strange. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For me, I feel like I've always lived male or masculine, like ever since I was little. Even though I was forced to wear dresses and all stuff, I always, as soon as I was able to, dress the little dress off, and then I'd go play sports with my cousins or video games or. But that also sports. doesn't mean like clothing or sports makes you. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like I always wanted to do with like my guy cousins, you know, like. Or even in my mind, I remember at the dance studio, I would always want to do like what the guy parts were doing, like I wanted to lift the girl. But not thinking like, I never thought, oh, I'm the guy. I just thought like, I want to do that part because I think in my mind, I was already that. Right. And then I feel like once high school came around and like dating was a more of a thing, I knew I liked girls. So I was like, oh, I must be a lesbian, right? Because that's what it was. There was no, in, to me, I didn't even know transgender was a thing. Right. Did you? In high school? I know. I grew up in Utah, people. <laughs> you also, you're, you're, you also found out that you, when you were younger, would try and make yourself look more. Oh, yeah. I used like to, stuffing. I used, my, I remember at one time at my sister's dance competition, and I was up in the room still probably playing video games, and I tucked my hair into my hat, like I used to have long hair, rolled it up and tucked it into my hat. And I don't remember what, like, encouraged me to do, to, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what in my mind, like, I thought, like, ooh, I'm gonna do that. But I remember, like, stuffing my pants with socks and just walking around the dance competition, like, with my hood on, you know, and thinking, like, oh my god, I totally, like, am passing as, <laughs> like, a guy. <laughs> but then we get scared and then we're back in the room and take everything off. All right. I wonder if my mom knew. Yeah. I'm sure she did a little I'm bit. Sure, because when you told her that you were transgender, she was like, oh, she was like, oh, I always tell people you're my son anyway. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, I think from your article, one of the coolest things was that, like, you had never really had a quote unquote coming out story because your mom always knew you were lesbian or uh, yeah. girls or whatever. And then um, you were saying how, like, the biggest mask you wore was being a lesbian. And that, that was a trigger for you as you called that. Yeah. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, Cause that just shows like the inside kind of struggle with like knowing you're born female and you like females, but you know you're not a lesbian. Right. You know, and then so finally crazy, having like, in your head to coming think. out story of being trans. Yeah, it's cool. So I feel like it all started when um, 
when I finally got my surgery, it was, um, I thought, my, for me it was my, my breasts are what made me a woman. And by removing them, that would make me appear more masculine. And I think it did for a little bit, you know, for a matter of time. But I didn't realize that after doing this, um, it actually accentuated every other female part, you know, looking part of my body and it actually made me way more dysphoric because it just started, like, other, the female parts just started sticking out like, like a, a tenfold, you know? Jekka got on this, like, really intense, like, workout eating cycle because he thought, like, that it was maybe just because he was heavy when I was like, that's how your body was physically born. Like, right. Like, if you have hips, you know, and that started, I feel like, messing with you really hard, and that's when you realized. Well, I'm sure yeah. you realized you were trans way before. But right. I think I realized uh, what I needed was to medically transition to two, also, yeah. and like not just. I thought surgery was going to be the fix, and it wasn't. It actually kind of made everything <laughs> worse. Well, and it took you a second, like, you, you it took you like two years to admit you when you were trans, you were yeah. trying to like avoid it, I feel I like. think I fought it. I don't know, I don't know why though. Like, you were well, scared. I was totally scared. I think it's also too, because I was, uh, for a long time I was such an advocate for like, you know, lesbian in, in the dance industry and being a strong, you know, women voice for the like, women. Boy. Yeah, and that, like that voice, and I was afraid to like, not be that person, I guess. Right. Um, even though I still feel like I am an advocate for like the LGBTQ plus community in the dance world, especially for like the totally female, are. females and the female to males, and that I I only know. And even male to female, just even. Oh, uh, totally. Yeah, it's just another side of it. Yeah. So, and it's cool to be that representation for the female to male community in the dance world. When Jekka, when Jekka asked me to start using male pronouns, um, I was so scared. He asked me in our car, and um, we we're just like listening to music. And he goes, "Can I ask you something?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Uh oh, what's gonna happen?" He's like, "Can you start using he and pronouns?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was just waiting for you to ask me because I don't know the risk, like the respect. Like, what do I do? I know, like you've been thinking about it, um, but but Jack had always told me like I don't want to be referred to as male pronouns until I start testosterone, and that's been taking a while because we're trying to get everything in order for future babies first. So it's taken a lot longer. Um, but you but you said you had been trying to tell me for like five days when you got to Oh yeah, bed. every night I would be sitting in the bed and I'd be like, okay, tonight I'm gonna ask. <laughs> and then I'd look over and she'd be on her phone and she'd look at me and smile and I'd be like, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> but I think it's interesting too, like being married even two years, together six, like that just shows like how much it's affected you, you know what I mean? Which is like, like kind of sad in a sense. And crazy to think that the one person you know that would never judge you or, or fall short of any of that would right. be the scariest person to I think tell. something that's scary for me to think is, say we never got back together, like would I still be like hiding, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I feel like if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to do any of this stuff, you know what I mean? Aw, thank you, babe. Are you crying? <laughs> there are tears in my eyeballs. You're making me cry too. Don't cry. Cry. <laughs> I love you so much. Me too. I'm a legit too. Yeah, oh, I know. Anyways, I think we were meant to be in each other's life for a lot of purposes. <laughs> I just, it's, I always think, I think about that a lot. Like, what if we never met, re-met? Re <laughs> yeah. Or like, what if our relationship didn't work? Like, God forbid. Like, would I still be like, trying to figure out my like life? Or would I like, would I have gotten on that path at all? Or would I have just continued to like, hide? You know what I'm saying? Because for those of you that don't know me, I ask questions that are like. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> because I, she I. She will get to the bottom of it. <laughs> No, but also if I see something that's bothering Jekka and I know it's hurtful, 
I know that I know that you wouldn't say it out loud. You know, like um, even with some of our friends or family, who um, he doesn't want to be like, "Hey, do you mind like not using female pronouns anymore?" I know that that's my role because Jack is just a little bit more shy, and I'm not. <laughs> like, I'm a little more. Like, I, I'll take the look of being like, hey, you need to stop using those pronouns because this is happening. I don't know if you've seen it. Not in a disrespectful way, but um, just to not put more pressure on Jekka. And so I'm, I'm, I've always been that type of person. So you even said sometimes overwhelming sometimes because you didn't know the answers to a lot of questions. No, I think, uh, uh, well, because it was all happening. It was all just like happening as right. it was happening. And I, didn't, I didn't give myself time to like think about it. Right. Even though also when you got your it's all like even though it was all I could think about for like just a little right, but also when he got his top surgery, um, he was like I don't want to transition. That was like probably a lie, obviously, but I don't think you realized it was a lie yet. I don't think you realized that that wasn't the fix. I you kind of just earlier said in the video. So I think you trying to tell me that you did after like we talked so much. And you're like no, I don't want to. That was like probably hard too. What? To be like actually yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. transgender. Yeah, because I bought it for so long. Yeah. I didn't want to ask people to start using he him pronouns for me until I started taking testosterone. That was just a personal choice. Um, you don't have to medically transition to be transgender. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that I've learned, and I think that's beautiful, and I think it's great. Um, I personally am going to medically transition. I obviously already had top surgery. Um, yeah. You're gonna start taking hormones soon. Hopefully in the next couple months. So because there aren't a lot of tests that kind of show us um, any insight to fu the future of everything. We've found a lot of studies yeah. on it. And we've, we've tried. The reason why we are um, doing all this before Jekka takes testosterone is because um, obviously like I said there's not a lot of tests shown and we want to be able to give um, Jekka like the most possibility to biologically have a child. Um, I'll obviously carry um, our child that way but for you to have DNA connected to a child. Um, so we're going to get Jekka's eggs taken out as much as we can um, and they'll have to put him on like a birth control where they like make a lot of eggs and then once he gets on testosterone we we weren't sure if like you could just stop that and then they re-put you on birth control but also would it even you know produce eggs so we just are nervous about that and um, the longevity of our family is really important to us so that's kind of the it's kind of the direction we're going so so what we do know is that once I start testosterone, my body will stop producing eggs. Yes. And so we were like, oh, maybe we should get them out before we do that. But because uh, we were thinking like, oh, I should just start, I should just start hormones. If, it, if I'm so just, you know, if it's so much in my head, I should just start. He's but really just for it's really it's like it's it's hard as his wife being here and like sometimes he'll just break down like cry or just need a hug and it, it just it's heartbreaking but I think what would be more heartbreaking we have discussed as a couple. I would, I would regret it if, if if I started testosterone or started hormone therapy and then two years decide okay let's try it and stop and my body just couldn't do it because I am older mm -hmm. um 32 so you know even just that age uh, for just women in general yeah um, your body after 30s you know, your, your egg production kind of slows down. Right. So I'm already past, already past that. So <laughs> that's why we're like, let's just take the proper steps so that I, we can have um, children that are bi biologically and DNA connected to me too. Mm -hmm. I'll provide the egg, you get the oven. And then we're gonna also have some. And then yeah too, but we wanna do that. Yeah. Cause it's as detrimental as it is right now to like not be able to, feel as great, you know, and, and the hope of you about to start t uh, testosterone or hormones is there, is, is, but it, I have the rest of my life, you know, to live, yeah. you know, on testosterone, but like, 
it, if I, I, I can go another three, four months. <laughs> You know, yeah. Well, that's the hard part too. It's not just like super easy, and it's right. not cheap at all. Like you can we, just like it's like show up. I mean, we'll just tell you guys like we have to go get like a fifteen thousand dollar loan to even just start this process. It's not like it's it's an easy thing to do. It's actually really hard, and Jack is not going to probably be able to start hormones for another couple months, and that psychological damage is really affecting. Him, so it's. I cried right here in the kitchen. The yeah. Other day. It's not just the one decision. It's like this one decision. This decision that's gonna affect right. the rest. Of, the rest of not just my life, but our life, but our future kids' our lives. Kids like, and, and you know, you don't think? I feel like I never thought of those things when I first started um, transitioning. You know, I never thought of, like you know, a lot of people don't think about, or some people don't want to have kids. Too at the same time, we. You know, you really gotta want to have a baby. <laughs> And yeah, in this type it's of community. Real. And it's not just um, trans and lesbians that have like infertility, you know, yeah. things like IVF is a common thing. Mm -hmm. We're doing um, IVF, yeah, normal. Yeah. It's just expensive. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy that the part by getting the eggs out is so much more expensive than putting them in. We're learning a lot. We, we, when I went in, when we went in, they had to do an ultrasound, which, by the way, was a little uncomfortable <laughs> because they had to put a thingy in the thing. But then it was <laughs> cool to look to see, you know, everything that's going on. <laughs> and it's just, um, I don't know, it's like a, such a grown-up thing that we were doing. Yeah. I remember like showing up and I was wearing just like a shirt, and I was like, should I be wearing like? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a nice place. Like, oh my gosh, let's tell them about when we went there. So the place that we chose to, you know, have our, our cryobank and our doing all the process. It's called OC Fertility. OC Fertility is far away from here. It's on Avocado Street. Yeah, that's so why you check out. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I know why. It's just so cute. Um, but it's far away and that's what we liked about it. Um, by the ocean. And the people are so nice. Yeah. And one of our, um, like one of the staff members that we were dealing with for a portion of it was like, we love when we have LTGBQ <laughs> plus people. So and we were like, even just for email that it was the wrong or the wrong order of the acronym, it still just felt like really cool that there were people there who were who get excited, like, they were like, our favorite is when two gay boys come in, yeah. you know, because we realize that we are changing somebody's life, that we're helping them create a family, yeah. and um, there's so many people who won't do that. But, um, yes. Especially going on right now, so. I think another thing that's cool, uh, something that's, sorry, cut you off. Mm -hmm. Another that's cool, I think for them too, was that they get to now have a study on this. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like they were asking me, are you still stuck? I was really nervous because I'm like, okay, this is gonna be it. This is what is gonna be written down, and the future people are gonna yeah. find this study. And so I was like, man, this is so cool. Like, we're like laying down bricks. Like, yeah. Like, Pat, you know? And we cried a little bit. Cried a lot. Side note, something that made me really happy um, after I asked Molly to start the call he, him. Oh, my text message from you pulled up on her phone and it said hubby. And I was so happy. <laughs> oh yeah, you were on my phone. Um, uh, Jack, I had my phone. You were doing something. You were like, oh, let me call myself. I think I was in the shower. Or I think I was in or something. And, um, and I was trying to find my name. And you were like, babe? Normally you had it as... Hersband. Hersband. H-E-R-S-B-A-S. And um, you were like, babe, where's my name in your phone? And I was like, hubby. And you were like, but um yeah so this is a little longer video than we anticipated but we just kind of wanted to give you a mass um explanation it's just the beginning we're excited to share this journey part of our lives with you in this journey because i feel like it's gonna be a long one it'll be so cool when yeah, jacket does cool. like start taking hormones like the video from now yeah from like six months from now to six months after Take that, a screenshot. you're gonna be like full blown sex Beard. man. Sex man? <laughs> I probably won't grow a lot of facial hair because Asians don't grow a lot. Probably a little bit right here. Jack has been using that um, oh, Snapchat filter. 
bless whoever made that because <laughs> it sure does help. When you feel like, when I'm feeling like really down, I just throw that little step check filter on. I, I like walked by the time I was like, dang, who is that? Dang, bitch! Yes, me. <laughs> if you guys know any other like, like LGBTQ family, um, it would be interested in seeing this video, tag them, or if you have people that you'd want us to check out their videos that are going through similar things or need advice or anything, please tag them. We're as much as we're giving information, I feel like we also need information. Yeah, we so. want to take it too, so please, yeah. It's like, how we, it's like how we said, I feel like in one of our first videos, like when you go online or when you're looking for information, the first place you, you, you know, you go YouTube or Google. Most people, most people will go to Google and then it'll bring up a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yes. Please, you know, give us some love, share it with people, uh, follow us, or subscribe to us. <laughs> and, yeah. We love you guys. Love you, Jen. 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 You hear them calling, Jen, your name, you feel like mine, and walk away. No one wants to walk. <laughs>